There was something I meant to mention to you all uh, a while back, but it's taken me a while to, to talk about it. And I call it the, the Saga of the Backboard. And it's a very short saga, so I'll tell you all about it. Um, when I was young, I used to practice tennis against a, uh, my tennis swing against a backboard. That's like on the, on the side of the court, there's like a, um, a plywood wall and you can, you can aim your tennis ball at the plywood wall, the backboard, and then it'll come back to you and so you can keep playing as if you were playing with a partner, right? Which was handy because I lived out in the country and there weren't a lot of partners out there. So um, I got to thinking about the law of karma, cause and effect that we find ourselves subject to when we're in the third dimension and heading toward the fourth and fifth and or even in the fourth, the third and fourth dimensions, yeah and heading toward the fifth. So, um, so the deal is this when we think a thought, especially, um, okay, we think a thought and it's like uh, hitting a tennis ball against um, against a backboard um, the ball bounces back at us from the edge of our hologram. Now, if we think an emotion-laden thought, especially directed at somebody else, uh, it's like hitting that ball really hard. And so it bounces back at us really hard. Okay? Now, when we're living in 3D and 4D, we think that there's a world of, of, of I and other, me and somebody else, right, and lots of other people, and we think that we're at the effect of these other people, okay. Um, so we might get incoming unfriendly telepathic thoughts, right, and we might think, or we might be triggered by some like emotional mental um, stimulus to our own auric field from somebody else. And, and we think, gosh, that person is out to get us. Or we think, that person is doing something to us, right? <laughs> and so we think something back at them, right? Especially we're tagged by something in their, um, like their um, energy field. And that tags into something in our energy field. And we have a shotgun response from our gut, right? typically. Okay, so we think something back at them. Well, so what really happens? Are they affected by our thought? Maybe. If it hits something, if it's, if their own gut responds to something about the energy signature of what we send. But if their gut is clear, or relatively clear, what's happening to us? Okay. It's like um, a chain of cause and effect is set up within our own hologram where we think something, we, we got a pinch from somebody, we think something back at them. It hits the edge of our hologram, bounces back. We think, my God, they're after us. <laughs> and we think back something furious and that bounces back even faster and harder and hits us, right? And it spins along like that until it reaches a breathtaking proportions. So then all night long we can be, well, I'll tell you a personal story about it. Last week I thought, geez, I'm being a wuss with regard to these telepathic threat energies that seem to be coming into my auric field for the last two weeks, right? Maybe I should fight back, right? Instead of just letting it like go straight through to the divine or straight through my heart to the divine, you know, straight up or straight through. And so I thought, geez, maybe I should be doing something about this. So I tried like yelling and getting angry and um, cussing and carrying on. I tried it for like two hours one day. And then that night I woke up in the middle of the night and there was this infernal racket in my own R, inside of my own hologram. The stuff that I'd been yelling all day was ratcheting back and forth like an eternal motion machine. Thank goodness it was gone the next morning. 
<laughs> I'll never do that again. <laughs> I really learned my lesson. So the thing to do, the thing to do, I feel, is to be as neutral as possible, to, to, to be the neutral witness, to feel in our own hearts these, these distortions that are coming up through our aura and just notice them and let the heart deal with it, you know? Let the divine deal with it because Lord knows we don't have those skills. <laughs> At least I don't. <laughs> and so that's the story of the backboard.